Hi, I recently ran into a problem with Google Chrome where no matter what I did, the app just would not start. I even tried removing it and re-downloading and it still didn't work. So I started doing a little bit of digging and found that there were a lot of people who ran into similar problems with Chrome just crashing and them not being able to fix it. So let's go over the process that I did to get it working again. You're gonna need another browser. In my case, I use the built-in Edge browser, formerly known as Internet Explorer. Uh, it's a terrible browser in my opinion, but it got the job done. So first thing we wanna do is go into google.com and we're gonna do a search for Revo Uninstaller. R-E-V-O Uninstaller, and it'll actually be one of the first results. We wanna do the, port the portable version. And that looks like it's the first link. Let's click on that one there. We're gonna go to downloads. And let's scroll down. We're gonna do free portable. And we can click open. All right, now that the download is completed, it's gonna open up in Windows Explorer. Let's go ahead and double click. Uh, depending on your operating system, whether you're 64-bit or 32-bit, you'll pick the appropriate one. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always find out by going to this PC and you'll know whether you're 64-bit or 32 and you can check by going to properties. And here it says 64-bit operating system. All right, now let's open that up and run. We're gonna do run. And we'll say yes. We'll agree to the license agreement, even though I can't see it. Okay, there we are. So it automatically gives you a list of all your apps. Uh, we're gonna choose Google Chrome. And then we're gonna click uninstall. Right, it's going to create a system rest restore point in case something terribly, you know, crazy happens, which <clears throat> I have not seen in the few times that I've used the app. And I don't think it's going to do it. And it's going to ask, hey, do you want to also delete browsing data? We'll say yes, uninstall. All right, so now that the app has been removed, it's going to give you an option to check for background programs, uh, background files, uh, you know, basically things in the registry. Uh, stuff that doesn't normally get removed by doing a regular uninstall from Windows. Let's go ahead and click Advanced and Scan. All right, and from here I select All and Delete. It's gonna say, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? I'll say yes. And then I'll also select all the app data and delete. Are you sure? Yes, I am. All right, at this point, you're done with the Revo uninstaller part. From here, let's go to Google. I'm um, sorry, we're going to go to Edge. That's actually just a thumbnail. We want to unpin that. That was just an icon that was still there. Uh, let's go to Edge and we'll re download Chrome. You can do a search, download Chrome, and Chrome Desktop, Chrome Browser will be one of the first ads. Download, accept and install, and run. All right, we're almost there. Can minimize these windows here and it looks like we're getting a notification hey do you want to give permission to Google Chrome update yes and now in my case you know the Chrome wasn't launching but there are, are other scenarios where uh, if you try to print from Chrome it continuously crashes or if 
uh, you know, you're opening up a specific website and it just keeps on crashing. Uh, there are various reasons why Chrome might not work. This will kind of nuke everything and just give you a clean start. And feel free to use this on any other app that is kind of misbehaving. And even after using the standard Windows reinstall, this is a perfect way to uh, kind of do a deeper dive and remove anything that you don't need. So there we go. Uh, the Chrome browser has reinstalled. It's fresh. It's clean. It doesn't have any history, any cookies, uh, any accounts associated or anything like that. Pretty much just gives you a clean slate. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.